Hello filmmakers, today we're starting off our Resolve 17 features videos. And we're gonna start with one because I've done similar ones in the past, and this is on green screen techniques. Now before, you could go into the color page and do your green screen there and get really good results, or you could go into Fusion if you really need to fine tune stuff to get even better results. Well, now we can do it right on the edit page using a new 3D keyer. So we're gonna take a look at that when we come right back. All right, here I am in DaVinci Resolve and I have this green screen footage and behind it, I just have this image of a basketball court. So what I need to do is go to my open effects if you don't have that, open up the effects library at the top, and we're gonna scroll down until we find our Resolve FX key. Take the 3D keyer and drop it on the footage. Now we wanna make sure we have the open effects overlay turned on. We're gonna need that, and we'll make sure we have our footage selected. Go over to our effects panel, and we have our 3D keyer. So, just to get started real quick, we're just gonna draw a little line on here to tell it what the green screen is. And we have a good result. We don't have a great result, but we have a good result. We have some green in the hair, and we've got some green down in these corners here. Now we can probably just clean these up by just drawing some lines there and saying that's our green screen. I'm gonna do these corners because they just seemed a little hot. And to double check, I can go from final composite to my alpha highlight black and white. And I can see I've got really clean matte going on here. Now there's also an alpha highlight, which shows it on green screen. And here we can see we still have some green in the hair. Now this is gonna be really easy to fix if we just click on despill. Like, wow, that was some fast green screen technique there. Now let's go back to our final composite and give it a play. Well, this just looks super, super clean, really fast. And I wanna double check the hair here. Let's zoom in, hair looks pretty good. Now we have some little artifacting going on here and we can clean this up. We can go to our matte finesse, finesse and play with our in-out ratio and probably clean that up a little bit, bump it up, bump it down, see what works for your particular shot. So I'm just gonna move it up just a hair here. And you have regular controls that we see in other places, denoising, clean black. So you gotta be really careful with these that you don't really mess things up really bad, clean white. That will tend to give you halos in most situations our blur radius, our black clip, white clip, operation, shape, quite a bit of control here in this 3D keyer. Now what's also really nice is they give us a garbage mat. So that's where something else is in the frame that we need to get rid of, we can get rid of that really easy with the garbage mat. And I talk about that a lot in the Delta keyer. But let's go ahead and turn off the paths and here we have kind of a finished image. Now it doesn't quite look right because this background is so sharp. So I'm just gonna come over here to my effects again. I'll go up to my blurring, just throw a box blur on that. Select it, maybe turn the strength down a little bit on there. And we have a solid, solid green screen effect. So I'm very, very impressed with this. It works really well, it's very fast allows anybody to just jump in and get some green screen work done. So check it out. It's the 3D keyer in the edit page. Now, if you want to get some green screen footage to work with, you can get it at vz.com. I'll put a link uh, in the description. I'll put it down here so you can find that. The background image came from unsplash.com. So I just grabbed some real stock stuff. And this green screen was lit good but it wasn't perfect. And as you saw, there was some fringing 
on those outside. So just drawing those little lines there was all it took to just get that to be a super, super clean green screen. So that's the 3D Keyer. Check it out, Resolve 17. And remember, right now, here, middle of November, this is beta one. Do not install this for production use. It is beta one, it will crash, you could lose data, you can have all kinds of weird issues because it is a beta, it is not production ready. If you wanna play around with the features, great, have at it, but understand you are probably going to run in, into some issues. It has not been flawless for me at this point. It's been good and I've only had like two major problems that they were recoverable, but still understand this is a beta and you might wanna wait until uh, it's a little more stable. But if you wanna check it out, check out the 3D Keyer. Thanks for watching everybody. This has been Kerry with Filmmaker Central. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, there's Sonya down there. <laughs> All right, take it easy. Bye-bye.